Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. This is a nice quick video to show you how I created these roof tiles just here. So the model's fairly straightforward. It's just as you'd expect, a plane and the edges of the roof tiles are just extruded slightly. Now I did notice when I started painting that it was painting on the wrong side. So I just had to reverse my normals. And it's really great now in 2.8, you've got face normals and you can sort of see the face direction in your overlay panel. So I reverse those with control N and then started painting. The first stage of painting is just to sort of dab on some colors for some variation. I don't like it when it's really solid in one color. I prefer some sort of variation, so I just dab on a few colors, usually smudge them in. Sometimes I don't worry too much about smudging them in even, just have some variations of color. So you can see me doing that here. You can see it's mirrored on the other side as well. I have x-axis mirror turned on in the paint options, but the whole model is mirrored as well. So that's mirrored in the y-axis. So you can see I only need to paint one quarter. So I've mirrored it twice in a sense. I'm using the mirror paint tools and using the mirror tools in general. So you can see there the mirror across from one side to the other. And it's sometimes a really good idea to isolate your model to paint on it. But if you've got other models in the scene, then you need to keep going in and out of isolation mode to help. Now you can see I just lined up the mirror properly there because it was slightly out of kilter. So when I'm drawing my tiles now, they are actually mirroring across to the other side, as you can see there. So once I've got the general color variation, that is, with my smudges and things, I'm going I'm going in and drawing the lines with a sort of darkish brush. So fairly straightforward, really, nothing too complex in terms of a roof tile. So it's like you're drawing with pencil at this point and drawing in the shading and the lines that you need for your roof tiles, just making sure they match up. Then just doing a tiny bit of shading around the place, darkening up areas with the multiply brush. That is the workflow I choose to use, sort of multiply, uh, sort of multiply and screen. So multiply for the dark bits, screen for the light bits. And you can see me just creating a bit of shadow with the multiply brush at the moment. It's not a way I would work in something like Photoshop. I prefer to use the Alt key and sample colors and things and choose actual direct colors. Uh, but the multiply and screen brushes seem to work the best in Blender. Now I've gone across to the screen brush and just highlighting the edges as if they're catching the light. It's a fairly simple process that I follow each time, just uh, screen brush for the light areas, multiply brush for the dark areas. I'm just painting in a tiny bit of texture into the roof tiles now. And you can see I'm out of isolation mode so I can actually see exactly where my lines are hitting against the other objects in the scene. And just creating a bit of shadow under each roof tile. And then another bit of a highlight where they're catching the light. So it's nice and simple, nothing too complicated because we're not viewing these from too close up and speed is of the essence. So still going in with the multiply brush, adding a bit of shading, then back in with the screen brush and just highlighting those edges again. So in terms of speed, this video was speeded up to 300%, so it's sort of three times as fast as I'm painting. That hopefully gives you an idea of how long it takes me to do these sort of things and how long I can really spend on just one aspect of the model. And there we have it, some nice, simple looking roof tiles that are fairly effective. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.